everybody. Uh, so in this video I'm going to go into uh, brushes and um, painting with Maya. Uh, Maya comes with a lot of preset brushes of a, a variety of different things um, like um, trees and plants, fire and all these types of things and buildings and skyscrapers that, that you can just kind of paint out instead of modeling and they're okay. They're pretty good. Uh, they're not really meant for a full scene but um, you know, they could certainly help um, a scene that you're building for, to add some of these here and there. So let's get started. The first thing you need is something to paint on. So I'm just going to drag out a plane here. And I'm just going to temporarily turn off the grid just so I can kind of see. But you can see right here I'm able to turn off and on the grid. And to paint on an object, you first have to make it paintable. So I'm going to make sure I'm on the modeling drop down. And I'm going to go up to Generate, and I'm selected on the shape, and I'm going to come up to Make Paintable. Remember, that will not work unless you're selected on the shape. Then I'm going to come back to Generate, and I'm going to go to Get Brush. Okay, and we get this palette here. I'm just going to make it a little smaller so I can move it over here. Uh, there's so many types of things that you can paint. As I said, cities, uh, where I could take, you know, this Chicago Tower, and you can see my brush when I hover over here, and I can just kind of paint them out. And right away, I would have kind of a city. There's other ones, little towns and stuff that you can build around that. And you can see that real quick, I don't have to model this. It's already out. It even comes with textures, as you can see here. But you can also texture these yourself. Uh, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to show you some of the ones that I like to use. Fire is a really good one. I'll show you. I'll just kind of drag some fire out here. And if I press play, a lot of these brushes animate. So the fire animates. You can see what it would look like rendered. Um, I'm going to delete that. Let me show you. Well, I'm going to drag that out again. You can see how small that fire is. What if you wanted to make one of these brushes bigger or smaller? Well, if you hold the B key on your keyboard and then hold down your mouse button, your regular left mouse button, and while I'm holding B and the mouse button, I can drag my mouse left or right to make the brush bigger or smaller. And you can see now I have larger flames. <clears throat> so I'm going to just delete these for now. And I'm going to try something different with you. Uh, there's definitely the flowers are really good in here. Uh, but I'm going to come down to this uh, there's flowers and flower meshes. I'm going to come down to trees. And the trees, I can easily kind of create, um, looks like this alien looking tree it's called. And let's see how big these are. Okay, I'm going to hold B and drag, make those a little bit bigger maybe. And you can see I've kind of quickly dragged out these trees. I'm going to go to tree meshes and maybe I'll put down a few maple trees in the background. I'm just going to be up and get bigger here. Okay, good. There's even these great oak trees. That's so small, so I'll be up. And kind of drag that out. Okay. And there's uh, great plants or plant meshes. Uh, we can certainly add some ferns in the front here. You can see that. And maybe I'll just add, uh, I really like the grasses in here too. So I'm going to select grasses. And I'm going to find some grasses to use. Maybe I'll use these. Okay. And those are really small, but if I kind of drag up, I can kind of create a scene here in the foreground. Some grasses like that. All right. Now let's talk about uh, rendering. So these are a little bit tricky to render. Uh, brushes in Maya don't render with Arnold. So. Uh, but they can if we convert them. So right now, I'm just going to quickly add a light. So under Arnold, I'm going to go to Lights, and how about I'll just add a, uh, a Sky Dome really quickly. All right. So I'm going to go to Arnold and Render. And notice it's a blank scene. So uh, it's not going to render. But as I said, it can render if we convert it. So let's try that. Uh, first, if I come over to my outline, you can see that I have um, all the strokes in my scene. 
Okay. And if I select the top one and hold shift and select the bottom stroke, I can select all of the strokes at the same time. And I'm doing this because I want to convert them all at the same time. So I'm going to go to modify, convert, and we see over in here, paint effects to polygons. And what we'll do is we're going to convert them to polygons. This might take a few seconds depending on how many um, strokes you have. Okay, just finished. Now one thing with converting is it um, does strip away some textures. Now you can go back and texture these yourself if you want. Some textures stay. Let's find out which one stayed. I'm going to come back to Arnold and render now that I've converted. And you can see, um, great. So now I've got some things rendering here. Um, you can certainly get into the weeds with these and look at the the shaders and look at uh, the textures for these objects because they are now polygons. They are polygons. So you can assign textures to them and use them uh, as you wish. Now let me just show you. You don't have to always paint on top of a plane. I could take, how about a sphere? And I can just pull this up in the air. And let's see if I went to first generate and make paintable while it's selected, and then generate get brush. I can, let's see if I come back to those trees. Let's go to uh, this bamboo here. And you can see I will be able to paint on a different type of a shape, right? Um, you can also kind of, in a way, trick it, trick it. Let's just pretend here I had a um, 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 kind of like a, a flower pot, let's just say. And I'm just going to really quickly create this flower pot. And I'll just uh, create one right now. I'm going to press extrude. I'm going to come up. Okay, so let's say you had this flower pot. Well, um, it might be tough to grow it from the bottom of this, but I can create a disc. This is a disc. And let's say, do I drag that out? It might have just plopped down right on the origin point here if I find it. There it is. So let me get that again. I'm done with this. Okay, there. And I can take this disc and I'll place it inside here. Okay, fit that right. And I can make the disc paintable. So if I come up to generate, make paintable while it's selected, and then generate get brush. Now I'm going to come to those um, plants again. Actually, we'll go to the flowers now. And yeah, so I'll find something I like. And I'll be up and get these bigger. And I can kind of paint now. <laughs> it's a little large. Make that brush a little smaller. Now I can paint on that disc. So uh, you can see how. Uh, these painting brushes work. Uh, hopefully you can use them in your scenes. So um, good luck and give this a try.